For today's Minnesotan to Meet, we travel to Lando Lakes headquarters in Arden Hills. Teddy Bikelli is the son of an Ethiopian agronomist. After getting a taste of the family business at a young age, Bikelli never thought farming would be in his future. But he took a chance and made the move to Minnesota, and that's what makes him a Minnesotan to Meet. Born in Ethiopia, Teddy Bikelli lived there until he was four years old. My dad was a farmer. Uh, he was actually an agronomist. Through certain connections, he acquired some land, and uh, he farmed about 400 acres. But in the 70s, the family's land became nationalized, and his family lost their livelihood overnight. That's when they moved to his mother's home country of Italy. My dad uh, sold crop protection products from France and Germany and England into Eastern Africa. And then when I was about 17 years old, my dad wanted to move to the United States and continue his business here, so we moved to Raleigh, North Carolina. Bekele speaks Ethiopian, Italian, and although English isn't his first language, you wouldn't know it. Worked really hard to get rid of it. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> well, I moved during my high school years, so I have, a, I have two younger brothers, and one of them is close in age to me. So okay. we made a pact with each other that let's correct it. After working up and down the East Coast in mechanical engineering, he was approached by Lando Lakes. Did you think that you would get back to your roots when you think about it from where your life was when you were born in Ethiopia to where it is now, especially considering you majored in engineering? Absolutely. I did not think that at all. My dad asked me what I wanted to do or where I would focus my attention. And the two things that I said I wouldn't do, one was music, because I'm, I'm not a very good musician. <laughs> uh, and the other one was agriculture, because I saw the struggles he went through in his life and just decided that wasn't an area. And he agreed with both of those. Four years ago, the ag business came calling, first running it for Winfield United, now most recently as vice president of ag technology at Winfield United, which is the seed and crop protection business of Lando Lakes. He helps develop new technologies to take to the farm. How big of a role does technology play in the day-to-day -day life of a, of a farmer? It's a, it's a huge component, especially in American agriculture, because if you think back in 1930s, it was 26 percent of the population was involved in agriculture that actually farmed. When you look at it today, it's less than two and a half percent. So somehow, but we're producing more food now than we were back in 1930s. So all that's happened because of technological innovations. Bekele finds himself spending a considerable amount of time in both rural and urban America. It's interesting how I go to Silicon Valley in San Francisco and talk about some of the stuff that blows my mind. I, can't, I barely understand it. And then the next, next two days I'm in you know, York, Nebraska, uh, where yesterday I just found out that there's at least one county that has no traffic lights. Earlier this year he traveled to Austin to present at South by Southwest to educate tech minds about production agriculture. He called the three-day trip a success. I had a lot of great comments from people that knew nothing about agriculture, but now we're really excited about wanting to learn more and get more engaged. Although it's a career turn that he thought he would never take, Teddy Bekele wouldn't have it any other way. The agriculture and, and, and advancing it, uh, using all these new technologies and these new capabilities, but still having roots tied down to what, you know, how I grew up and what my dad did in the past. So. Really, that's, that's the core of what makes me proud these days. Bekele says he and his team work with Google, Microsoft, and Amazon to develop their solutions, and then they take those technologies to the farm. And Teddy tells me he recently visited North Carolina, where he used to live, and it was very hot. And he said, oh, I kind of like it here in Minneapolis. I'm getting used to the weather. Nice. It's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Cool story. Thanks, Allie. We have a lot more.